Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Here Is My Story channel. I'm Janine. One night, I had a dream in which I was in the basement of our house. While looking for something, I don't know what, I discovered a secret room. At first, I was afraid, but then curiosity got the best of me and I went in. It was such a realistic dream. I was looking around the room when suddenly the door shut behind me. It was completely dark and I started screaming. I woke up right away. I was drenched in sweat. I looked around scared. I was in my room. Thankfully, it was just a dream, I thought. Suddenly, I realized something. The secret room was real. What I saw in my dream had actually happened to me when I was five or six years old. I had been looking for our neighbor's cat in the basement. I heard the neighbor tell my mom that her cat went missing the day before. I thought it might be in our basement, so I went down there. Somehow, a door happened to open in one of the walls. I remember going into the hidden room, but I don't remember what happened there at all. All of a sudden, the light went off. It was pitch black, and I was scared to death. I guess my brain simply erased this memory because it was so traumatic. But when I dreamed of it, it came right back. It was a clear memory, as if it happened yesterday. I couldn't remember who it was that got me out of the room. I thought I could ask my mom about it. My mom is a designer, and my dad is a software developer. They both work from home. I rushed into my mom's home office. I said, Mom, I have something important I need to ask you. She looked at me, smiling. But when I began to tell her about my dream, her smile froze. The secret room in the basement is real, right? How did I ever get out of it? I asked. Mom didn't know what to say. Janine, it was just a dream. There's no secret room in the basement, she said. She got mad when I wouldn't drop it. I'm really busy right now, she said and shooed me away. I figured my mom was lying, but I didn't say anything. I decided to find the secret room myself. Both my parents and I go to bed really early. We're usually asleep by 10 p.m. That night, after my parents went to bed, I quietly went down to the basement. I scanned the walls with the flashlight. There had to be a secret door somewhere. I kept looking and looking, but I couldn't find it. I was feeling really sleepy. When I got back to my room, I heard people outside talking. I looked out the window. There was a car parked across the street and my dad was talking to the people inside. I was really surprised. What was my dad doing outside so late? Who was he talking to? The next evening, I was in the basement again after everyone went to bed. I had an idea. If the secret door had opened while I was looking for the cat, maybe I should try looking along the bottom part of the wall. When I pointed my flashlight down, I saw a brick that was sticking out. When I pushed it back into place, I heard a mechanism. Then a tiny door opened inside the wall. I got really excited. The light in the secret room switched on by itself. I walked in. Inside, there was a table, a few chairs, a couch, and a bunch of cabinets. There were no cobwebs. It seemed the room had been cleaned recently. There was a walkie-talkie on the table. When I opened the first cabinet, I screamed, no way! There were two huge rifles and two handguns in there. I opened another cabinet. It was full of canned food. It was clear that this room was designed to hide in during an emergency or even live in for a while. When I opened the small cabinet next to the couch, I saw that it was full of documents, envelopes, and maps. I picked up an envelope. There were a few photos in there. I took it back to my room. I was excited to look through the photos. There was a wedding photo of a couple I didn't recognize, a baby photo, and another one of the three of them together. I was confused. Why do we have someone's family photos? Why was there a secret room in our basement? What was the deal with the walkie-talkie and the guns? Why did my mom lie to me and say there was no room? Who were the men that my dad was talking to? Just as I was about to go to sleep, I had an idea. I took out all the photos one by one. I took separate pictures of the man and the woman with my phone. Then I went on to Google Images. I clicked the search by image icon. I uploaded the woman's photo. I got no results. Then I uploaded the man's photo. This time, I got a bunch of results. My heart was pounding. I clicked on the top link. It was a news site. I started reading. This guy had been a famous mafia boss in the past. He had been the head of all the gangs in New York. He had thousands of men working for him. The police worked for a long time to collect enough evidence to put him away. Finally, he got arrested and was convicted and was sentenced to life in prison. Nobody knew which prison he was sent to because the police were scared that his men would try to break him out. Now, I was even more confused huh? than earlier. 
Why did we have photos of a mafia boss and his family in our basement? Was my dad working for him? This was a ridiculous idea, but I couldn't think of any other explanation. The next night, I went down to the secret room again. I had to find more information. I opened the cabinet where I found the photos. As I was looking to see if there was anything else, I found an ID card. From the photo, I could tell it was the ID of the mafia boss's wife. That's how I learned her name. The secret room had no phone signal, so I came back to my room. I googled the woman's name. There were only two results. Both were news stories about a traffic accident. She had lost control of her car while speeding and flew from a bridge into the river. She had her baby with her. They both died. Instead of solving the mystery, every new bit of information was making things even more complicated. I was so curious to find out what all this meant. I looked out the window to check if the car I saw the night before was still there. And it was. The light in the car was on, and I could make out the faces of the people inside. There were two men inside, a driver and a passenger. The passenger was my dad. They were chatting and laughing. A few minutes later, another car came and parked behind them. A woman came out. My dad got out of the car. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw my dad and this woman embrace each other. Was this woman my dad's lover? Then he got into her car and they left together. I had to tell my mom what I'd just seen. She would definitely be upset, but she had to know that my dad was having an affair. I walked into my parents' bedroom crying. My mom woke up and screamed, Janine, what's wrong? Mom, dad is cheating on you. I saw it with my own eyes. He just drove away with some woman, I said. My mom held me close. She calmly said, why are you not in bed so late? You shouldn't have seen that. I asked her, what do you mean? Who was that woman? My mom smiled and said, Janine, that's your dad's wife. Or rather, she's the wife of the man who you think is your dad. I said, what do you mean the man you think is your dad? Does this have anything to do with the secret room in the basement? It was my mom's turn to be surprised. You found that too? That's a shelter. Come on, let's go down there. I have a lot to tell you, she said. We went down to the basement. I think you'll need these, I said as I gave her the envelope with the photos. My mom said, now you'll know everything you've been wondering about, and picked up the wedding photo. She pointed to the man and said, this is your real father. What? My dad was a mafia boss? I screamed. Yes, he was the most ruthless mafia boss of the century, mom replied. So who is this woman with him, I asked. That's me, she said. I said, Mom, that can't be you. She doesn't look like you at all. Mom said, Janine, I used to look like that. What you see now is the result of seven plastic surgeries. The things I was learning were so outrageous. Nothing surprised me anymore. When I said to my mom, the internet says you died in a car accident along with your baby. She said, that's fake news. The police put that up. That's when it hit me. I grabbed the photo of the baby. Is that me? I asked. My mom shed a tear. Yes, it's you, honey. Your face was completely transformed after three plastic surgeries. I'm really sad about that, but there was nothing else we could do, she said and went on to explain. When I married your father, he was working as a driver for a businessman. It turns out that person was involved in organized crime. Your father learned everything from it and got involved as well. I thought he was still working as a driver, and meanwhile, he had become a mafia boss. By the time I found out, it was too late. He had completely transformed into a criminal. You were born around that time. Your father was out of control. He was horrible towards both his men and me. I hated him, and I was also terrified of him. Finally, I couldn't take it anymore, so I took you and went to police. They'd been trying to arrest your father for years, but could never collect enough evidence. I knew all about your father's dirty laundry. He was arrested and sentenced to life in prison thanks to my testimony. Since a lot of his men were still loyal to him, you and I were in serious danger. That's why they got us into the witness protection program. First, they completely changed our appearance with a series of surgeries. Next, they gave us new names. Then we moved into this little town. It was a wild story straight out of a movie and I was one of the characters in it. So who is the man I call dad? I asked. He's our bodyguard. His real name is George. The woman you saw is his real wife. Every night after you go to bed, George goes home and comes back before you're up. When he's not around, there are other people protecting us. When I said, I know, they're sitting in the car across the street. My mom laughed and said, you found out so much. I asked mom, is this secret room for us to hide in? She said, your father had thousands of men. Because of me, their lives were upended. They've been looking for us for years to get revenge. If they ever find out who we are and where we live, they will kill us. 
But don't you worry. If that happens, we'll be hiding right here. The guns are for our protection. George is, of course, going to stay with us. I was feeling really weird about all this. I had just learned some incredible things. I felt like my head was about to explode. It took me months to process all of this. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you found my story interesting. Bye.